So cutting this the butt part of this log or tree is um, taking a lot of time. But normally I would cut from the top and then in the woods you decide do you want to go further? Because this is the hardest splitting stuff, the hardest cutting stuff. And there wasn't much room to work here with the whole tree right here. And I'm being a little worried about it. But I have gotten, you know, I was out to here. So I'm back to here now. And the chainsaw is, the one's just not cutting as good as you would think it would be. So I'm going to sharpen that. And then the other one is just not cutting straight. So I'm going to sharpen that one too. But we are gaining. I did um, pile up the stuff that was in the windows and that's what I've already put there today. So in sharpening, you really need a good surface, stable surface. And I had piled these up here and it turned out, I didn't initially plan on it being a work area or a tabletop to, to sharpen with, but then the higher it got, the more enticing it looked but it wasn't stable I just I never piled it that good and no matter what I did I wasn't able to make it stable so I've taken everything out moved things around got them out of there piled up and this is the top I had on it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start fresh with a nice big one turns out it's fantasy brown Get that in there stable and then build my top from there up to the, the right height and I should have it stable now one issue is this is concrete here along this edge and then that's dirt so I've tried to um, put other stuff in here to even it up and by having one big one I should be able to have it stabilized so maybe it sidetracked a little bit, but it's a lot better to sharpen a saw in a stable work area. So we'll um, have a better surface. Years ago I had concreted this in. It stayed pretty good. You can see it cracked, but it stayed pretty well. So hopefully this will um, work out for a good surface for sharpening on.